the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, yes. and they sewed big fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. They are using plants to cover nakedness. You name more than plants, you name the blood. Go to 31. Hmm. This fig leaves is toil, is struggle. If you sow fig leaves, how long can it stay before it dries? I, I, can, can you try it and go and get some leaves and cover yourself with leaves for some, for some days and see how it will last? How long it will last? Hmm. You have to keep getting more leaves. Are you aware that? Go on, read 21. Also for Adam and his wife, the Lord God made tunics of skin and clothed them. Did you see that? Can you see the contrast between the fig leaves and this tunic of skin? What happened? Before, before the skin of the animal was removed, the animal was killed. And this is pointing to the power and the authority of the blood. The blood is so powerful, church. Why is the blood so important? He said, because life is in the blood. And it gives the blood for the atonement. You see, there are three words in the Bible that are very powerful. There are many other words. Number one is atonement. Remission and forgiveness. And forgiveness. Atonement is when your sin is covered. Remission is when your sin is wiped out. Forgiveness is when you, when, when you, do, when you do wrong and you lose your sense of righteousness. You have, God forgives you so that you have a sense of righteousness again. So here we are, I'm talking, I'm talking about the blood, just guys. But, I'm, but I, I, I will share with you about the significance of the blood. The significance of the blood. This is Easter season, Easter time, Easter season time. And we, as a church, we like to remember what Jesus did for us every day. That's why I give the, the, the communion statute for us to take communion, to remember his death. You know, I have to, just watching this thing, I have to hold my tears and all that. Just when you read the Old Testament and see what Jesus has done for you, in the, uh, and see what, what was required in the Old Testament, the blood of bulls, animals, goats, and everything that were being sacrificed on a consistent basis, you appreciate more and more what Jesus did for us. There is darkness in the land, but it doesn't, it doesn't affect us as born-again believers. And I want us to be conscious of that. Um, let's look at the scripture right now. Well, today we're examining the, the, the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. The communion. Significance of the communion. The significance of the broken body of Jesus and the shed blood. Let's go to Isaiah 61 to 5. Isaiah 61 to 5. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you. And his glory will be seen upon you. Say the, say the Lord will arise, arise over me. Say it. The Lord will arise over me. It's very important. In the midst of either kidnapping, insecurity, whatever is going on in the land. Mark this scripture. Go on. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Mm. Lift up your eyes all around, and see. They all gather together. They come to you. Mm. Your son shall come from afar, and your daughter shall be nursed at your side. Amen. Then you shall see and become radiant, wow. and your heart shall swell with joy, mm. because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. Amen. The wealth of the Gentile shall come to you. Amen. Amen. Now, we began the year with this scripture, and really I want us to zero in on what Jesus did for us. Can, it's too much, it's too big to do in one service. I'll just do a brief one. Christianity is not a religion. 
Christianity is not a religion. Say it. You see, because when you when people, unfortunately, for most church gatherings, it's just like social gathering. It's like social gathering. We just gather. Let's contribute money. I help somebody. Let's contribute money and do this one. Let's do this one. Let's do some projects. Let's do things for people and all that. It's not Red Cross. It's not just people just coming together and just. It is yes. There is it's an ecclesia. There's an assembly of people. But it's not a religion. It's a relationship. It's a relationship. It's a relationship. And when you understand the, what Jesus did for us, and what the, the whole Bible is about Jesus. The whole Bible is about Jesus. I want us to look at, look at John chapter 1, verse 29. John 1, John 1, 29. The whole Bible is about Jesus. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. One more time. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Go to Genesis. Genesis chapter... Chapter, chapter 3, from verse, uh, verse 15, verse 15 to, to 19 and 21. I'll put enmity between you and the woman. And between your seed and her seed, it shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Satan, Satan, he's talking, he's, he's, he's talking to Satan now. Go, was talking to Satan. Hmm. After Satan deceived mankind, and, uh, and then Adam knowingly fell and, and committed high treason in the garden, hmm. there was a pronouncement of judgment over Satan. That the seed of this woman will bruise away, Mr. Devil. That enemy's authority. Last Sunday, last Sunday, we look at keys, keys, keys. Anyone who has keys is a control. Keys represent control, authority. He said, The son of this woman, Mr. Devil, shall bruise your head. But they are going to bruise his heel. Go on, let it on. Verse 16 now. To the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. Yes. In pain you shall bring forth children. Mm. Your desire shall be for your husband, mm. and he shall rule over you. Mm. Go, 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 go. That's the cause, the cause of the woman. You can see that in, you can see how many more women are looking for husband than men who are looking for wives. Mm. Are you aware of that? Mm. There's an inner crazy desire for marry like crazy. And then and, abusive and then, and then people, 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 are, people are being beaten by their husband. And they remain there, they are unable to live there, beating them like crazy. Mm. And they still, some of them die in that relationship of being beaten. So it, is, it is a cause. Mm. And you know, childbearing, unless you are a child of God now, you are, you are redeemed. You go through the pain of childbearing. Mm. But we have been redeemed from the cause. Mm. Okay, go on. I've been redeemed from the cause. Say it, say it. I've been redeemed from the cause. Okay. Hmm. Then to Adam, he said, Because you have either the voice of your wife, yes. And yes. Have Eating from the tree of which I commanded you, saying, yes. You shall not eat of it. Yes. Cause this the ground for your sake. Yes. In toil you shall eat of it. Mm. All the days of your life. The cause on the man is walk and die. Mm. Toil to death. Mm. The cause on the man is to sweat to get money. Sweat. Mm. You have to eat through your sweat. Mm. That's a cause. It was not like that in the garden originally. Okay, man was able to tend the garden, but not to toil. Mm. Painful toil. You know, I share with you, I say the blessing of the Lord, it maketh it truly rich, and it does not ask sorrow with it, neither can toiling increase it. Mm. But the cost, the cost that was put on mankind by God, after man committed high treason against God, because God's idea was to have 
just to, to man dominate here, God dominates in heaven. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There is no poverty in heaven. There is no sickness in heaven. There is no sin in heaven. No, 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 no kidnapping, no premature death in heaven. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That was the original plan of man. When God created, created heaven and earth, he created earth like a colonial place, colonial place where God headquarters in heaven. And Adam and his wife was going to rule here and dominate sickness, dominate poverty, dominate everything and have everything under their control. The gold, the silver, everything under their control. Not a struggle to eat. It was not in the original plan of, of God for mankind to struggle to eat. And you see just now when you are watching at this, when you are watching this thing, you saw the thorns on his head. You see thorns on Jesus' head. That that film you watch now, this you will watch before you start this message. You saw the thorns. You see every thorns everywhere. Thorns, 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 thorns there. You see, it was not only sweating or sweat, it was sweating blood. He sweated blood. Not just water alone, sweated water. Now, this man was supposed to sweat water to eat. You sweat. Have you seen somebody sweating? You are struggling. You can't sleep at night because of the business. You are struggling. You are tired of it and everything. And then, before you know it, before you know it, you are broke, your, your head is broken down. Hear me now. This is your, it's, it's a cause to struggle to eat, to struggle to pay school fees, to struggle to pay them, to struggle. It's a, it's, it's a cause. And as long as you're not aware it's a cause, you think, you think what you're doing is, 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 is okay. But there's a better plan for you. Amen. See, there's a better plan for you. There's a better plan for me. See, we are reading Isaiah 60 years now and see the wealth of the Gentiles. Mm. The wealth of the Gentiles will come to you. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you see, people will begin to bless you without knowing why they're blessing you. Amen. They begin to, they begin to, they be, they'll be blessing. See, I mean, God will begin to give you favor for supernatural jobs that will be, that will be stressless. Mm. Stressless job, stressless Amen. job. Amen. You take it, you take the job, give somebody else does it and collect the bigger, the, big, the bigger part of the money is on you. Somebody else does the toil on your behalf. Amen. The Gentiles also toil on your behalf. Amen. Jesus purchased all this for us, my, my brother, my sister. Read on, read on. Cause the ground for your sake, in toil you shall eat mm. all the days of your life. Mm. Then let, let's look at the next verse. Both tongues and tissues, it yes. shall bring forth for you. Yes. And you shall eat the herb of the field. Mm. Did you see thorns and sweet tissue? Did, did you see thorns? Mm. Did you see thorns on Jesus' head? Mm. Did you see thorns on the head? He said the, the, the cause that was put on Adam and mankind, the whole man, woman race, was that you will be struggling to cultivate the ground to bring out thorns and thistles. Mm. You cultivate crops. Can you imagine? Go and plant crop today. You don't go and weed it, it will die. It does not bring up something. The why? It is a, the ground is coarse. The ground is already coarse. Mm. To bring in thorns and thistles. It's a cause. Are you following what I'm saying this morning? Mm. Look at it. Both thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you. Yes. And you shall eat the, the herb of, of the, the field. field. Good. And then, in look the at, sweat of your face. Look at it one more time. Hmm. You shall eat bread. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread. Till you return to the ground. Woo! For out of it you are taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. This was the cause that was put on mankind. Church, are you catching this thing this morning? This was the cause that was put on mankind. Sweat. Do you know, do you know, that, do you know that most people will use most of their time to look for money on this side? Apart when you are sleeping, most of your waking moments you are looking for money. And God will tell and say, I give you power to get wealth. God is raising me and you now as the end time army of people that, that we, we, we we're experiencing wealth transfer. Amen. Say wealth transfer. Amen. You see, we read Isaiah 60 just now. Wealth transfer is you, you buying what some people are buying for, for, for 500,000. You buy it for 2,500. Hmm. It's wealth transfer. It's supernatural. When you're supposed, you supposed to spend money and they say, look, take it away, take it away, just give you, give, take it, take it, take it. I just like you, I just give you, I give you. The favor of God, one day of favor is more than one year, one year, one year of labor. Say, so say a day of favor. A day of favor is more than a lifetime of labor. It's more than a lifetime of labor. What about a day the day of favor? A day of favor is more than a lifetime of labor. Say, say, say it. A day of favor is more than a lifetime of labor. It's just like uh, when, uh, what uh, uh, the bishop was saying just now. 
his steps were ordered to be at the right place at the right time. The person's 5,000 dollars gone for other things was enter his pocket. <laughs> Do you know how much money is supposed to be entering your pocket because of, because of the favor of God? Mm. Mm. Church? Mm. Do you know how much, how much money is supposed to enter your pocket because of the favor of God? Mm. Do you know how much, how much, how much, how much you're supposed to be enjoying because you are a child of the king? Mm. See, we are not practicing religion here. We are, we are Christians. Are you aware of that? Yes. It's not a religion. They, your life will be different from the other that, that unbelievers, your neighbor, the neighbor unbelievers. Are you following what I'm saying now? We had a challenge we passed supply for some days in our place, and then we told, and then we, we, we discovered that the people are the people, people who are neighbors, who are supposed to be one of the rich people, they are, they, the janitor was not working. And our janitor was, was giving, when janitor, our janitor was under, under, under pressure, was giving challenge. You know, we had the inverter, we had generator, we had you can only use the inverter to, to our next thing. And the general, the general kicks in. When is the, the power supply is for too long, and sorry, power outage for too long, you need more than the inverter, you need the generator to, to, also, to also charge it. Your son can only do so much. There was a need for another, another generator. Are you following what I'm saying now? And God provided another generator for us. So that we have two generators, one inverter. Nepa is your business whether you supply light or not. Are you following what I'm saying now? Now, the people who look at it, by the time you are, the time you are buying a diesel for maybe 800 or 700 something or 800 per, per liter, by the time you look at it, I'm going to say how much you're going to spend this liter. Some people just, they have to cut. But do you know that as born again believers, we're supposed to be enjoying the opulence, not wasting money, but enjoying the opulence and the, the convenience that God has purchased for us through Jesus Christ. Mm. And the don't believers look at you, it's only your place that has light up to 24 7. That should be a testimony. Amen. But if you don't have that, if you, if you, if you flow with the world, if we flow with the world's poverty, we flow with the world's signal disease, if we flow with the world, then we die like the world. We can't afford to do that. We cannot depend on sweat to eat. Say, I won't depend on my sweat to eat. I will not depend on my sweat to eat. I will depend on the blessing. I will depend on the blessing of the law of the law that make it rich that make it rich and doesn't add sorrow and doesn't add sorrow. Go to go, leave us twenty one before leave us seven and twenty one. I want us to look at the contrast now, verse verse seven and verse twenty one. Okay, look at the contrast. Then verse. the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, yes. and they sewed big fig leaves together, and made themselves. Coverings. They are using plants to cover nakedness. You need more than plant. You need the blood. Say you need the blood. Everybody, you need the blood. I need the blood. Go to thirty-one. Mm. If you listen, you catch it. If you listen, you catch it. You catch this, and this will help you. Hmm? This fig leaves is toil, is struggle. If you sow fig leaves, how long can it stay before it dries? Mm. I, I, can, can you try it and go and get some leaves and cover yourself with leaves for some for some days and see how it will last? How long it will last? You have to keep getting more leaves. Are you what? Are you that? Go on, read 21. I'm bringing something, I want to bring something out of this one for you tonight, this morning. Also for Adam and his wife, yes. the Lord God made tunics of skin yes. and clothed them. Did you see that? Mm. Can you see the contrast between the fig leaves and this tunic of skin? Mm. What happened? Before that animal was killed, before the skin of the animal was removed, the animal was killed. And this is pointing to the power and the authority of the blood. The power and the authority of the blood. Say it. The power and the authority of the blood. The blood is so powerful, church. And when we look, we go to, go to uh, I mean, it's, it's too, this is too big. Let's go to Leviticus chapter uh, 10, 17, 10, 11. You see, listen very well, church. When you understand the blood, <laughs> praise God. I get excited. Just talk about the blood. When you understand the blood, do you know that most sicknesses, you, only, you have to check the blood to know the level of the problem. You, most sicknesses, you, you check the blood to see how, how sick you are. Hmm. Hmm. The blood is so important and so vital. It's, it's, the Bible says life is in the blood. The blood is so important yes. and it's so vital. Yes. Tell your neighbor. Yes. Shake them, shake them. And our and life is in the blood. Life is in the blood. 
You, 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 can, you can't afford to sleep. This is not time for sleep now because we are talking about how you can begin to ride on high in this line, in this city. How you can live well in this city. How only your neighbors can make to envy, envy you in this city. It's not because of struggle. How, you know how many people are dying out of life because of because they, they, they overwork? Name in the book. And whatever man of the house man of the house of Israel, yes. all the strangers who dwell among you, yes. who eats any blood, I will set my face against that person who eats blood, and I will cut him off from among his people. What? Hmm. Look at it, look at it. Why, 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 why? Look at, look at the next one, look at the next one. Hmm. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, hmm. and I've given it to you, given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. Hmm. Are you catching it? Are you catching it? You see, as I'm, as I'm teaching this thing, I saw somebody, a, a, a Muslim woman, cover her head, going, going around to, he's going to the mosque. Just passed by now, as I was <laughs> he's, The devil will deceive them to take them to a place where they don't understand the significance of the blood. Hmm. I mean, you, me and you are seated here, they are passing by here. Solution is here. Mm. They have to go to the wrong place. Mm. Because if the deceiver blinds, mm. he's telling them you cannot, you cannot take blood, you can't eat blood, you can't drink blood. When you kill an animal, cut it. There are so many other things in that same chapter. You cut the animal, you, 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 you cut the, the animal and, uh, and then spread the blood on the ground. Mm. You must not take the blood of the animal. Why is the blood so important? He said, because life is in the blood. And it gives the blood for the atonement. You see, there are three words in the Bible that are very powerful. There are many other words. Number one is atonement. Remission. Atonement. Say atonement. Atonement. Remission. Remission. And forgiveness. And forgiveness. Atonement is when your sin is covered. Remission is when your sin is wiped out. Forgiveness is when 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 you do when you do wrong and you lose your sense of righteousness. You have God forgives you so that you have a sense of righteousness again restored. So your, your first John one nine. So it's, it's, it's atonement, remission, and forgiveness. Mm. Say it. Atonement, remission, and forgiveness. Very important. First John where? I just pray for John one night. Okay. I just it's also taking. If, 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 you know, if, if you confess your sins, you just forgive your sins and to cleanse them all righteousness. That's what I just quoted. But listen very well now. Because it's too big. This is too big. I need to just cut small this today. You can just cut small today. Maybe it, it, it balanced to next Sunday. Hmm? The blood is so vital that the animal's blood, you, when you don't allow, you're not allowed to drink it because if the animal is sick, Every, when you drink the blood, you are drinking out the sickness of the animal. Mm. Are you aware, are you aware of that? Mm. The, the, the most time when you are doing tests, the first place the test is blood test. Mm. Are you aware of that? Mm. Your blood can show the level of your health. Mm. The blood is so important. And here we are, in, from that genesis here, God kill an innocent animal and shed the blood of an innocent animal to cover the nakedness of Adam and Eve. The animal's name wasn't known. Mm. But when you begin to read the Bible and go to Exodus, mm. Mm. and you go to Exodus, Exodus, and you see Exodus 12, when the people were in Israel were about to leave, the, they were about to depart to go to the promised land that flows with milk and honey. Mm. After being in slavery for, for 430 years, Four and thirty years of slavery under Pharaoh. It's like many of us, like just like uh, 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 Kinsley was talking about now. We were in the street. I was in the street in slavery to sin and and sickness, disease, and lying, and crazy lifestyle. We were in slavery for several years until we realized and we understood all Jesus did for us, and we were, we were rescued from darkness to light. The children of Israel were in slavery for four and thirty years, sick. Broke. 
bent, bent backwards, stroke, all kinds of disease, diabetes, blood pressure, name any kind of sickness you can think of. They got for 400, for 400 years, they were enslaved, it. they were being punished by the Egyptians. Punished by the Egyptians. Punished by the Egyptians. They, were, they didn't even own the food they ate. They didn't even know they were doing all the work. They had to, they had to, they had to look for their master to eat. They were enslaved for several years. And just before the Passover lamb was going to be taken, God, see that, if you look at it, if you look at Exodus, Exodus, you see, you see examples of what, Jesus, what God did for them before they left Egypt. But the last, second or last miracle, second or last miracle that God did, he, he was, he was, he, 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 I want to listen to his very well now. God put darkness in Egypt. Hmm. We read just now in Isaiah 60, gross darkness. He said, I rest and shine, for your light has come. Okay? For the, for, what the glory, glory is listening upon, upon who? Upon me. Upon you. And then the verse 2 says, darkness and gross darkness. Look at the contrast. Arise and shine, for your light has come. Born again believers. Born again believers. Say, say me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Say it. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Then look at the next verse for the unbelievers. He said, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. That's what we are seeing right now. And deep, in fact, KJV says, Gross darkness, gross darkness. Like deep darkness, the people. But the Lord will arise over you. And his glory will be seen upon you. Amen. Can you say that? Can you say that? The unbeliever will see you. They will see you. They will see you. They will see your health. Amen. They will see your, they will see your money. Amen. They will see your, the glory of God. The, the glory, glory. Anyone who see glory in the Bible is talking about wealth. God's glory will be seen upon you. But look at this. They say, gross darkness, the people. There is darkness. Do you know? Have you seen? Look at, go and look at the news lately. And see what is going on in the news. In the news, see how many people are uh, uh, maybe uh, that doubt, this other one, this other one doubt, that one, that other one. Is when they say when when you see the word darkness in the Bible, it's not just physical darkness. It's talking about spiritual darkness. Say spiritual darkness. Spiritual darkness. Say spiritual darkness. Spiritual darkness. Sickness, disease, poverty, gross sin, gross sin. Stubborn disease that cannot be healed. Mm. Terminal diseases. Flu. Epidemic. Pandemic. Mm. Ebola virus. What kind of crazy viruses? Mm. Gross darkness. Kidnapping. Violence. Mm. Spirit of fear. Mm. People are unable to travel. They are living in perpetual fear of being kidnapped. There is gross darkness, the people. There is spiritual dullness. Say dullness. Dullness. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, Satan is the one that weakens the nations. He weakens you. Satan wants to dull you. You wake up, you feel like lying down. You stand up, you feel like sleeping. You are unable to get yourself. You are moving up and down the house. You don't know what to do. You are confused. Confusion is darkness. Depression is darkness. There's pressure on you to be accepted by people. Mm. You want to be accepted by people. You want to get married fast, fast, so that you can please people. Mm. That you, you can, you are, you, can, you are marketable. You are. There's pressure. There's anxiety. There's fear. There's dread. It's darkness. Gross darkness. The people. This is serious matter. He say, "Ah, uh, he say, look that. He say, the glory of the Lord is, is, is they, will be, they will be seen. Say, the glory of the Lord will be seen. The glory of the Lord will be seen. I say, the glory of the Lord will be seen. Say it. The glory of the Lord will be seen. Wow. Say it. This is serious. All right, for the light is gone. Rise, for thy light has come. 
The glory of the Lord is risen. The glory of the Lord is risen. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Arashan. Arashan. Kandabasa. For the light has come. Rise, shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen. The glory of the Lord is risen. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. That is my prayer for you today. Church, this is my prayer for you today. Because if you see what is going on in news, news across this country, this insecurity, mm. the kidnapping, mm. and all that, and as a church, we are, not, we are trusting God that we are not going to allow you to continue. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying right now? Mm. As a church, we are standing against darkness as a church. Amen. But let me be honest with you. There is no safe place except the will of God. Mm. What did I say? There is no safe place except in the will of God. There is no safe place. Somebody, uh, tell me, was it my, 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 my sister-in-law sent us a story of somebody that the, the, the kidnappers killed him, killed the person, a medical doctor who was about to go abroad. Had secured everything to go, about to go abroad. They didn't allow to get to that abroad. Imagine if she wasn't going abroad. Just you know, imagine if she didn't, if was she, because it's, a, it's a, about go, an arrangement to go about that, it made that to be at the wrong place at the right time, at the wrong time. Hmm. What did I say? The person is going abroad and he has to travel to somewhere quick, quick now. And go in that place, that place, he was at the right, she was at the, at the, right, at the wrong place at the wrong time. Hmm. If there was no abroad in the agenda, she would be doing what or why she's doing it. Are you catching what I'm saying now? Yes. Hmm. He wants to go abroad and he has to travel somewhere to go and make arrangements for it. And he's called going somewhere. He met, uh, he met, he met uh, Satan's children hmm. who blew his head off. Who blew her head off. She left yeah, her job. She yeah. left her job. Hmm. She was making arrangements. She would have been doing her work and be doing, treating people for malaria in, in, the, in the place where she's treated. And she used to be, and still be alive. And the money she's looking for abroad is in Nigeria. There's money in Nigeria. Yes. Ah, but day, yeah. You know, you, know, you, know, you are not seeing it. It's here. Amen. And by the case of God, you see it, you will come right Amen. Amen. There's money in this country. Mm. Huh? People, the people, my, my son was telling me of someone, one of the people they did uh, this thing together in the NYC, that how the person was, uh, the person's relations who was abroad came and sold all their things and took it. The person was living abroad. Things are difficult for you. He came and sold it in Nigeria and ran and ran. There is no safe place except the will of God. Say it. There is no safe place except in the will of God. So here we are. I'm talking, I'm talking about the blood of Jesus Christ. Hmm. But, um, but I, I, I was sharing with you about the significance of the blood. The significance of the blood. We let Levitical go. Yes. We let Levitical go. Levitical. And I said, I said, the life is in the blood. Hmm. So you are not allowed to drink the blood. You are not allowed to drink the blood in the Old Testament. You, can, you must not drink blood. See, because hear me now, every blood that you see, like I said, most sicknesses and diseases, they are in the blood. You can stress them in the blood, through the blood. Hmm. And most of the medicine they give you to swallow, you either inject it, you either swallow it, and the digestive go to your blood system and go to deal with the problem, or you take it by injection and everything. And if a snake bites, a snake bites, it injects poison in your blood. And your blood, once the poison gets your blood, your, it, your blood will pump that poison around the kidneys and shut down your kidney, shut down your liver, shut down your system, and then the person dies. Hmm. If somebody had an accident, you can, somebody can, if you have an accident person right now, accident person, and it's bleeding, it's bleeding, it's bleeding, he will still be alive as long as he's still bleeding. Hmm. Do you know that you can, if you can, if you can, your heart, the heart, no, the heart, the job of the heart is to pump blood. Are you aware of that? Your heart, your pump blood. Do you know that they can suspend your, they can use a machine to pump blood to your body and replace heart? Mm. Where the machine is doing the pumping. Mm. 
you, 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 you still be alive. Even though you have to, you have to be suspended. Some, a machine is beating the heart for you. It's, beating, it's pumping the blood for you. So the blood is so significant. It's so important. Life is in the blood. Most treatments, you have to go through the blood to get, to get treat, treatment. And this is what God did. And show you just the verse 11 and say, the blood has been given to, for, the blood of animals has been given to, to, for the atonement of our souls. I'm going to draw an analogy here for you to see. Can you see this one? Hmm? Can you see? Let's take this for the lamb. This is a lamb. In the Old Testament, when you mess up or you do anything crazy, you don't need anything. You just need to get a, a lamb that is pure. Okay? Say spotless lamb. Spotless lamb. And your job is to lay your, lay your hand mm. on the lamb. Mm. You lay your hand on the lamb. Mm. And then I, I will, the, I, I'm the high priest now. You are the sinner person. You lay your hand on the lamb. Mm. I'm not going to examine what you did wrong. I'm not going to examine your righteousness. I'm going to examine the purity of the lamb. Mm. I check it. Mm. I check it. I check mm. it. Check it. Okay, so you put your hand on it on the lamb, mm. and then uh, you look, you either get the get kill the spill the blood on the lamb. Mm. You release your sin on the lamb. Are you aware of that? Mm. You release, release your sickness on the lamb. Mm. That is why the gospel of grace. Most people don't accept it. Mm. You release your hand, you put your hand on the lamb, and then you now and now and I say that's it. You are you are free to go now. Mm. I tell the lamb. You go free. Mm. But you have to be the one to bring the lamb. This is very well now. Mm. You will be, you do, you, once you mess up, you are the one that will go and look for the right, the right lamb. Mm. You can't bring me a lamb that has a, that one leg. It's already, it's already, it's already, it's, it's, there's blemish there. Mm. You gave me a fine lamb, a good lamb, as a high priest. You're just a high priest. Mm. Are you that? Yes, well, this is very well. you catch it, you catch it. So you go, you go, you go look for the lamb and bring me the lamb. Then you lay your hands on the lamb, and even the 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 the, the who was the high priest, you confess the sins of the congregation on the lamb. All the sins of the congregation, you confess on the lamb. Sin that you didn't know, the one you know, the one you didn't know, is put on the lamb for one year. And during, during the one year, if you mess up, during the one year, you do something like that, you still bring a good look at that lamb again. If you mess up five times, you look for five lambs. Hmm. If you mess up 50 times, you go to 50, 50 lambs. Lambs or goats, as long as you, and it's an innocent animal. Are you following what I'm saying this morning? You look for it, look for it, and then you the see the release of the lamb, and then the lambs see your sickness and everything. Or the lamb, the lamb takes it away. It's a replacement for you. This lamb replaces you. Are you catching it? But you we don't look for, look, look for that lamb. But when Jesus was coming, John 1 29, where were they just now? Look at what happened. See what happened now. The lamb of God. Hmm. It was the lamb of man that came before. You're going to look for a lamb. Now God look for his own lamb. Amen. Are, you, are you catching it? Yes. God, God cannot, your, your lamb can no longer do the job. Huh? Your lamb can only, do, do, can only cover it. It cannot wipe it out. It can only cover it. Atonement. Hmm. It cannot do the mission. Hmm. So the God has to now look for his own lamb. Are you catching what I'm saying this morning? Yes, he looked for his own lamb and then took his own lamb and then, hear me now, how is he going to get a lamb? He became the lamb. He gave up his own late begotten son. And so that John wanted to name, where, when, when John was baptizing the garden, in the, 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 the river Jordan, he, he, he was looking at the crowd. He, said, he was looking at the crowd. And God opened his eyes to see somebody in the crowd. And he said, Behold, 
The Lamb of God that took away the sins of. One more time. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Did you see that? For God so loved the world that he gives only begotten Son, that those who ever believe that no perish shall have eternal life. Behold the Lamb of God who took away the sins of the world. So hear me, church. It is, you are not going to hell because you are a good person. Huh? You, don't, you, don't, you don't go to hell right now. If you go to hell now, I'm going to check hell now. You don't see anybody what because they committed adultery, fornication, lying, stealing, kidnapping. Those sins were laid on Jesus. Hallelujah. Huh? Are you catching it? Yes, sir. In, I would I would really keep repeating to because when you live here, you're going to hear something else outside. Mm. People don't go to hell because of the sin they committed. They go to hell because they reject Jesus. They reject the Lamb. People don't go to hell for the sins they committed. But they go there because they rejected the Lamb of God. That's all. That's all. You don't go to hell and see adulterers because they are committing adultery. Because they don't say, no, 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 no. The reason why people go to hell is because they reject the offer. This is what God went and looked for lamb and sacrificed that lamb on your behalf and said, I know what. I go do my own righteousness by myself. I go fast. I go fast. Dry. Dry fasting. Mm. Wet fasting. Pray. I will pray, 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 pray. You are trying to do it by your works. Mm. You are insulting grace. You are insulting the grace of God. Mm. It, you are saying this lamb is not enough. The lamb is not enough. I need more than the lamb. I have to do it by myself. Mr. Mr. Man, you have missed it. This lamb is enough. Say the lamb is enough. The lamb is enough. The lamb is enough. The lamb is enough. When you are going to kill the lamb, listen now, anyway. When you want to kill the lamb, this, I want to show you something that the difference between, between, between the lamb, the, between lamb and the lamb. Listen, anyway, listen, 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 listen. Mm. When you kill the lamb, the daughters, I mean, you don't torture it. What, what did I say? When you kill the lamb in the Old Testament, you don't torture it. You don't beat it. Wow. You know, see, I want to kill lamb, and they're beating lamb. Like the, the way you saw now in, the, in this uh, film just now, we watch now. They were using, it was, it was 39 strokes. Mm. Body bleeding everywhere. You don't do that for the lamb in the Old Testament. When Jesus was coming as the lamb, as the lamb of God, listen now, the lamb of God, he was beaten. He was beaten. He was tortured. And when he was in the garden, listen now, the blood was shed in different places. While Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane, the first place the blood was shed was in the garden of Gethsemane. The first place the blood was shed was in the garden of Gethsemane. Say that. While he was praying and going to the agony of, the, of going to the cross, of being forsaken by his father, he was going to the pain and the agony of going. See, do you know that it's, 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 people believe that at that time when you, you can, somebody can be so, feel so much pain that the blood vessel can break. You know, you are unable to sleep. Things are difficult for you. So you, you see your veins showing. You see your veins showing. The expression on you, depression, agony, anxiety that breaks the capillaries. Mm. Jesus went through so much agonizing pain while he was praying, while he was in the garden, looking at what was ahead of him, being able to carry all the sins of the whole world and being separated from his father for the first time in history. And he went through all that agony and he was sweating blood. Listen very well, church. As that blood was, being, as he was sweating blood, he sweated blood, so you are not going to have to sweat to eat. It's sweated blood so that I don't have to sweat to eat. <laughs> if you can catch this thing I'm telling you right now, mm. you don't you just need one person to show you one person that can make you a millionaire by next week. Yes. 
It's just one, you see, it's usually, it's, you see, favor, favor, divine favor is being, you being at the right place at the right time. It's not, it's not the hocus pocus. Divine favor is you meeting the right person. Do you know that you can marry effortlessly to the right person? Are you aware of that? It's just you being at the right place at the right time to meet the right person. Sometimes you may not it may depend on your marriage, it may not be depending on you are going to meet there. It may, it, may, it may be somebody who knows the person that you're going to marry. You know, I talk about marriage every day. Why? Because marriage is very important. Once you miss it, once you miss it in marriage, you are in, you are in trouble. You pray, and that's the first thing you do. First thing you do before you, before you, before you look for husband and wife is to pray. Ask God, ask God for the right mate. Go and talk to God about it. Okay? Then trust God to order your steps to be at the right place at the right time. Are you aware of that? Because he has, he has to show you who to marry. Are you catching it? So now talking about, about financial prosperity. Financial prosperity is you being at the right place at the right time. You meet the right person. Some people, you meet them, they are not the one that will prosper you. Are you aware of that? Yes, but they will introduce you to somebody who will prosper you. Mm. I give you an example when I was talking about what I was God spoke to him and said, leave Texas. Go, go to Oklahoma. I'm going to give you but a LTL level husband's building. Hey, look, how is he going to get the money for it? God spoke to him, leave right now. Go from Texas to Oklahoma right now. And meet so, 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 so person. He's the man's a millionaire. But you know that he will never tell him he need money. Listen very well now. And then but again left with his wife from Texas. They went to Oklahoma and then met this, met this, 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 this man. They went to this, they went for sh- shopping. And after they, they, they are, where are you, where are you? I'm just, okay, let me, let me at the restaurant. They met at the restaurant. The, 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 the millionaire gave them nice meal. They had nice meal. But, you see, but again never drop hints. Say don't, say don't drop hints. Don't drop hints. If it is God, they can finish the job. If it is God, he can finish the job. So they went to the restaurant after they finish eating. They were not going out. The man never gave them a dime. And he never asked them because when you go, you don't you don't you cannot help God. You cannot help God. So you can say you can help God. You cannot help God. You can't help God. You have too small to help him. Look at it. So when they, when they finish eating and they were not going out for the restaurant, God ordered the steps of another person. Who was not, who drove into that restaurant and was as they were going out, they were meeting him as he was they were coming in. He said, You are come, come, let's go and eat. I said, No, I'm already eating. He said, okay, okay, let's just take a cup of tea. So he come, he, he begged Boragin and his wife to come and just take a cup of tea. It was the same, it was the man that got to give him the money. Are you catching it now? Yes, sir. See, because listen, listen, listen now. Your mini, your, your millions, your millions. Is somewhere lying somewhere. Are you aware of that? And 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 it is it is a, it is you. This is, I'm teaching you now. If you can have the consciousness of it in after today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you are your thought is not on how difficult things are in Nigeria, but your thought is how much Jesus has paid for you. How much you have in your spiritual bank account? You are a tycoon. Say I'm a spiritual tycoon. I'm a spiritual tycoon. <laughs> Come down. This thing is very serious, and I, and I, and I can feel the anointing. Listen, listen if, you catch, if you catch it. So, you know, what you are believing God for, somebody paid the price. It's not going to be by your effort or your connection or lie, 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 blow, lie, blah, 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 blah. No, it's a simply receiving, not achieving. It's simply receiving, not achieving. You see, we need to train ourselves, we need to retrain our mind. Our mind has been trained for poverty for too long. Hmm. You know, sometimes I was telling my husband, sometimes, sometimes this poverty take it, come again on mind. I have to look for how to knock it off. Sometimes I want to, I want to maybe use something, and I know that I can, I can just, there are some better ones I can use. I still go for the old ones. Are you aware of that? Are you aware of that? Yes. It, it, it have, we have a stack of singlets in the house. Some of them are, some, some are used them, they are very old. 
They are new, new ones. Sometimes I look at the new one, I don't touch it. I still go to carry the old one. And one day I was doing, as I was doing it in the bathroom, I was carrying it out. You see, they are all single like what I use for long, and I like old ones. They are too soft. <laughs> so, and then somebody, some, 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 some I'm just, just, just speaking in my mind. Your body is more important than raiment. Your body is more important than clothes. My body is more important than clothes. That means I'm valuing clothes more than my body. Can you understand? This thing that are there is meant for you. Sometimes I will take some of the singlet that are already, that are, some of them already have this turn here. You will just carry them away and throw them away without my knowledge. I'll be looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying right now? Because you have, you have to retrain yourself with this mentality old, old, this matter of poverty. Hmm. Fear of running out, fear of lack. Fear that I'm a lack, so let me keep it. You change the parts of your motto that is no longer you use and you keep it in case. <laughs> <laughs> so at the point we're having so much this, so much this thing, I say, let's clear this junk. We clear this junk there. It's like I leave it. They are not even man, those kind of vehicles and they're no longer even in vogue. You are keeping it. It's a poor thinking. You need reprogramming. To begin to think yourself happy, hmm. think yourself prosperous, hmm. think yourself married to the right person, hmm. think yourself, you know, successful, hmm. think yourself li living in a city center, not in a lungu house. Hmm. Are you following what I'm saying now? It, it, it requires a, a Bible says, I will that you prosper and be heard, Rollins. As your soul prospers. Amen. And it can, it, no soul can prosper when the person is dozing. Amen. I hear what happens. So, so, so the thing is this. You, 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 the idea is that when, when you are in the church and I'm, I'm, I'm prospering your soul now, your thinking is changing. Yes. It's changing. When I say, why don't you move your, your, your family from Calabar and Muna to Abuja? You say your face is not yet there. So build faith. And get a good house in the city and move them there. One of, our, one of our dear colleagues before when I found my church was there, we were talking to him and he said, why don't you move? They said, I said, no, that in Calabar, he has, a, he has a vegetable garden there. Vegetable garden. <laughs> Can't do go to Uzema and buy vegetable. <laughs> See, poverty taking. Vegetable garden. How much can you make out of it? You know the mechanism? You know the mechanism? <laughs> See, when you come to church, the church is not a religious place. It's a place where you are retrained, you are reprogrammed. So, the here yeah, now, listen, listen, listen. When he was in a, a Gethsemane and he was sweating blood and water, he sweated blood and water. Here, when I, he, he, he sweated so that you will not have to sweat. Amen. Before you can eat food. Hmm. Are you following what I'm saying now? Yes. So, and you know, see, let me not tell down. See, sweating comes not just by physical exhaustion. Sweating comes by thinking. Mm. Are you aware of that? There are things that can face you in your, your career, in your job, where you're working, in your business, mm. that can begin to, they are so unnerving. They are so unnerving that you, you, you start sweating, even mm. under a sea. Mm. You are sweating to make it. You are struggling to make it. Do you know that amongst, uh, was, uh, more, for most, for most uh, what is it called now? For most Christian marriages, for most Christian marriages, do you know for most Christian marriages, the number one problem or cause of divorce among Christians is money. Mm. Are you aware of that? Yes. The number one cause of problem among uh, Christian couples and, and even fighting and setting is money. Mm. And it's because the money is not enough. Wow. Are you aware of that? Because if I have my money, you have your money, what are we talking about? Your younger brother come today. Look, you do all the day for me. The next time is my younger brother's uh, younger sister's turn. They say, eh, 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 eh. I don't want. You're okay, you don't kill another one. You don't, you don't kill two times, my kill only once. My uncle, I will do two too. <laughs> what will happen when you are so financially loaded? Listen, George. And then where you have a house, your house, you have another challenge for them. 
both your 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 husband's people and the, your wife's people, they are there together with food stuff to eat until they go back to their school. So that it's not a problem to you. Are you following what I'm saying? But you cannot read that if your thinking is poverty. Are you aware of that? Because all that you are you are you are lying down in the bed and you say, ah, my my husband's sister came last week. Ah, he go don't collect the money finish. <laughs> you see, the thought, see, it's, it's, it's not you to be thinking about thinking plus plus. You are thinking poverty. Can you imagine lying lie, lie down in the bed and there is, you are like, you are owing money, landlord, you are owing landlord, you are owing this one, you are owing that one, and then your thought in the bed, the on the bed is, wow, praise God for Jesus. He, 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 he sweated blood. So I don't have to sweat over rent. Amen. Wow. He, the, he, the, 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 crown, the crown of thorn was put on his head. So I don't have to labor and labor in under, under a thorny atmosphere. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father, because even though Jesus Christ was rich, for my sake he became poor, so that I, through his poverty, might become rich. Wow. Praise God. <laughs> Landlord is looking. Back, 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 back. My bon boy. My bon boy. My bon gay. Say, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, say, this Lord don't come again. You know, go drive person for Abuja so wrong, wrong thought, wrong thought, wrong thought. You see what I'm doing now? Programming. You see, Christianity is not just you going to church and doing social meeting. It's about the about, about your about impactful life. Your life being impacted. You are impacted. You see, most of you here, you are, in this, you are in this ministry. You know that since you are coming to this ministry, see how your life, your life has been impacted. Prosperity. It doesn't matter your level of education. Forget it. I was doing this about a uh, own book. School, school is for lazy people. School is for lazy people. You may not have a single education and yet be prosperous and people who are educated come before you. Amen. Hmm. I'm talking about the finished work of the cross, Jesus Christ. The Lamb in the Old Testament was not punished. He was punished for you. Hmm. Bled, not just on the cross alone, but from the Gethsemane, from the thorn on his head, and from when he was finally nailed on the cross. Amen. Church, what Jesus did for us is a big deal. Go to Exodus 12, what do want? In the Old Testament, they killed the lamb and ate the lamb and used the blood of the lamb for the, for the, for the lintel of the, of the house. They ate the physical body of the lamb. Mm. When we partake in the communion, it's, 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 it is a sign and evidence we are eating the physical body of Jesus. Mm. It's a sign. It's a sign. sign. It's a symbol. It's a symbol. Go to, go to Exodus 12. And lean, lean 9 for me. Verse 5. Start with verse 5. Let mm. it flow. Okay. Flow 5 to 11. Let me just, let's just take it from verse 5. Okay? Your lamb shall be without blemish. Your lamb. Listen now. Let's do this thing again. Let's go back to this thing again now. Are, are you listening? Are you listening? Yes, sir. So let's go back to the lamb. Be, to, to, to a, a lamb before the lamb. Hmm. This, is, this is just the lamb. But before that, there was a symbol. Of the Old Testament, the lamb. Mm. Here we are, the lamb. Say lamb, lamb, lamb. The lamb. So there is no blemish, no wrinkles, no sickness, no disease. It is, it is supposed to be clean, healthy lamb. Mm. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, go on. Your lamb shall be without blemish. A yes. male of the first year. Yes. You shall take it from the sheep or from, from the, the goats. goats. Yes. Now you shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the same month. Yes. Then the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel. Shall kill it at twilight. Shall kill at twilight, yes. And they shall take, and they shall take some of the blood and yes. put it on the two doorposts. Yes. And on the lintel of the houses where they eat it. Yes. 
Then they shall eat the flesh on that night. Mm. Roasted in fire with unleavened bread, mm. with bitter herbs, they shall eat it. Listen. Do not eat it raw, nor boiled at all with water. But roasted in fire, its head with its legs and its stop, stop there, stop, stop there. Go, go, go. Let's do let's, let's stop this verse nine first. Let me explain. Let me explain. It's talking about the blood. Uh, the first of all, the blood of the lamb on the doorpost. That means when the door, when the blood on the doorpost, no Satan can kill you. Amen. No, no, am, am robber can can destroy your life. Amen. See, we are, see, look, I'm, I'm, we are, we are pumping faith here. What you just did? Mm. If you are, if you are a child of God and you have the blood has shed over you, I, we are not going to believe in fear of, of kidnappers. Amen. Huh? For what? We will not live in fear of kidnappers. Say, it, say it. We will not live in fear of kidnappers. Huh? For what? In in those days, there are people who, who use charm in the village. They use charm. They put charm in the pocket and go to the go to the bush. Fearlessly. They are using Satan's power. And it fails. I think you, you are what I just share now during, the, during this uh, clip here. When I used to you when, when I use this charm to rescue. Uh, you had this description now. Are you, are, in those in the village, uh, uh, we like charm too much when we're in the village. But we're looking for power as young boys. And you tie a charm around your waist, go and challenge somebody. And sometimes they can fail woefully. They beat you, and you see stars. <laughs> so if we, if we can trust the satanic charm, how much more the precious blood of Jesus Christ? Church? So we will not live in fear. There's the gross darkness and fear all over the land. But we will not partake of the fear of the land. What are you believers? Amen. So he said, number one, look at verse, that verse 9 now. He said, he say, he say, you're going to roast it. Roast it. And then you will take, you will, see, look at the list of what, what, you, what the parts you're going to consume in the body, in the, lamb, in the body, in the lamb, of the, in the, in the body, body of the lamb. He spoke, he spoke, he spoke say legs, say legs. Can you see legs, that, that verse 9? Hmm. Legs. And his entrails. And, and his entrails. Hmm. So, in other, in other words, we are to partake in the communion today. Hmm. If there's a problem with your leg, are you, are you correct for that? Mm. If you have a problem with your leg, something is wrong with your leg, you are unable to, it's, it's, it's afflicting you for a long time. It's, hear me now, as we partake the communion day, we expect that thing to, that to, to go forever. Amen. So whatever has to do with arthritis or to anything that, the, the rheumatism, whatever has been an issue with your limbs. We are going to take the communion with thanksgiving in our heart and trust God that whatever has been affecting our legs, our, ent- our, our, our uh, uh, body, will be gone. Amen. Nerves, our nerves. Amen. Bones. Amen. Let me do it. Let, let's see. The second one is entries. 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 Yes. Entries. Entries. Entries is talking about your intestines, mm. your liver, mm. your kidneys. Mm. Your lungs, mm. eternal, organs. Eternal, eternal, eternal organs, your glands, mm. your pancreas. Mm. Whatever pancreas is producing insulin, mm. but the, by the pine of the blood as you part, and the blood of your guy, we begin to, it begin to produce insulin right now. Yeah. Whatever kidneys have been shut down, mm. that has been depending on dialysis to run the kidneys, as you partake in the body of our Lord Jesus Christ this morning. We are expecting those, those kidneys to start working. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are trusting God that your liver, your heart, whatever heart is not beating right, irregular heartbeat, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, Whatever is not working well in your heart, not pumping right, as you partake in the body of our Lord Jesus Christ this morning, we expect your heartbeat to become normal. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 105, verse 37. It says, There was none feeble. They said they came out with silver and gold. Look at it. He also brought them out with silver and gold, and there was none feeble among these tribes. I want us to give me a amplifier of that. 
this morning. He brought Israel, where the modern Israel, where, where the Zion, the church. We go have a better covenant than, than, than the church of Israel. Amen. He brought Israel for those who with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. There was not one sick person. Amen. Out of, out of about two to three million people that left Egypt, my brother and my sister, people that left Egypt, old women, old men with stroke, with sickness and disease, they have labored for several years. Hear me now. When they took out Padu, they, they took the Passover lamb. They guard their loins. They got already because they, they, they were in faith that as they partake of this thing, they will be free of sickness and disease. And all of them were healthy and strong. Amen. Say healthy and strong. Healthy and strong. God gives you money in Ecclesiastes. He gives you money and gives you head to enjoy it. Mm. Are you aware of that? Ecclesiastes chapter 10. He gives, you, he gives you money. He gives you wealth. And he gives you health to enjoy the money. Mm. Mm. There's no point in getting all the money and spending it on your medicine. He gives useless money. Useless money. Are you aware of that? He gives you money and gives you health to enjoy the money. Mm. That's why you're in this church. Prosperity, all, all around prosperity, all around prosperity. <laughs> Are you aware of that? You're, you're around prosperity. I'm telling you right now. You saw, yes, you saw last Sunday my, my, my youngest son's, the clip of my youngest son last Sunday. America. There are, there, I just checked the, checked the record again. There are 88% of American children who leave their Christ, who leave their father's house to go to university. They backslide and don't go to church again. 88%. 88%. American children, born again from, from born again family, go to the university and abandon their faith and stop going to church. We saw that we saw my my son my son's last Sunday. We are not there in America with him, but he chose. He said, I was, he said, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I chose the faith in Christ. I remain. He said, he remains faithful, faithful to this this gospel. Mm. About my sister, it is a good thing for you to have your children in church. Mm. Are you aware that? Yes, it's a good thing to have your children in church. You don't have to raise them so that they can remain in faith. And then for you to be healthy, for you to be prosperous. And if you have all the health and you are healthy and you are broke, it's not a good testimony. Are you aware that? Say, assume, say, assume I know they see, but come and not get them. It's not a good testimony. Are you aware that? It's not a good testimony. You, are not, you see, prosperity is in all areas. It's been able to have peace in your home. When Satan comes and knocks you off with sickness, with their, with, their, with their anger, and all this in your heart, in the midst of whatever challenges you are facing, in your family, for you to, and even if you marry a crazy person, hear me now. Do you know God can give you peace in the midst of a crazy world? Mm. Are you aware of that? Yes, it is a good thing to receive word from God and the good day to enjoy it. Mm. Say it. It is a good thing to receive word from God and the good day to enjoy it. That's God's, that's God's plan for us. Mm. Are you aware of that? Yes, so here we are now. Listen now. You come to church right now. You are receiving the word today. We're going to take communion to seal it. You not go out and talk nonsense, Amen. talk negative, talk unbelief, talk poverty, talk sickness. It's not your sickness. You don't have sickness. My asthma. Wrong. Don't own it. Don't own your sickness. See, the body of Christ, is the, we, need to, we need a lot of teaching because, because we have been brainwashed in a negative way. You see, some of my colleagues, my owner is working in the office those days. They say, ah, you know I'm diabetic. You know I'm diabetic. So you are diabetic. You have accepted it. You know, you know, you know I have high blood pressure. I have high, I have high blood pressure. You have it. It's yours. So keep it now. I'm challenging us this morning, church. Jesus didn't die in vain. Hmm. He didn't die in vain. He took away confusion of the mind. He took away depression. He took away anxiety. He took away fear. He did everything. It was total, total prosperity. 
And when other brothers are going through darkness, your neighborhood, by the help of the Holy Spirit, your, there will be light in your, 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 your dwelling. Amen. Are you aware of that? Mm. There will be light in your dwelling. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. You know, what, what we are doing to this morning is this. As we take the cup and the bread, the Bible says we should do it in remembrance of him. As we do, we're talking about what he did for us, his death, burial, and resurrection. And as we do that, we, you know, the Bible says they guard their waist. They, were, they, were, they, were doing, they, guard, their, they guard their loins, ready to move. When you take the communion, you are ready to, ready, ready to, ready to receive your healing. Mm. Huh? Amen. Ready to receive your motto. They left with silver and gold. Mm. There was no fever among their tribe. You are, ready, you are ready this week for a supernatural breakthrough. Amen. You are ready this week for a breakthrough you didn't even deserve. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying this morning? This is the plan of God for us as a church. That we're not going to be thinking poor like others, others are, are, are in, our, in our neighbors. And then when they are talking for you, you not participate in it. Amen. This is how far we can go on this program today. Yes, sir. If you are not born again, you need to get born again. And getting to know Jesus as Lord and Savior is so simple. You simply believe in your heart, and then you confess with your mouth. So join us in making Jesus the Lord of your life by saying, Dear God. Dear God. I accept Jesus Christ. I accept Jesus Christ. Your son. Your son. As the Lord of my life. Lord of my life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For saving me. For saving me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. I said that simple prayer. If you said that simple prayer, you are born again. Praise God. You have crossed from darkness to light. That's right. Praise what God. What if they are sick in their bodies? If you are sick in your bodies, God wants you here. Huh? Whether you are born again or not born again. Lord, God you. wants to extend his healing message to Amen. you. Amen. So place your hand on the area where you are hurting yes. while I pray for you. Sicknesses and diseases, go, lose them right. and let them go Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pronounce you here right. from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. That's right. Be delivered Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We're going to look for a living church, a vibrant church where you can grow and become strong as a Christian. Amen. There are good churches, there are also bad ones. We pray, uh, my prayer is that those will lead to the right one in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.